This first song is called Passage of Time, and it's, uh, it's in Anishinaabe, it's in my language, and you're not going to understand it. So basically I'm singing about um, the cycle of generations and how, how the people who took care of you when you were little, uh, things turn around and you start, to take care of, you start to take care of them. And that's the beautiful and sometimes sad cycle of life. Uh, this is Passage of Time. Guitar in my monitors, please. that uh, we tend to groove a lot, my little trio band here, and the mic shakes when we jiggle. But I won't stop dancing! No! No! So this next song is called, this next song is called Round Lake, and um, hmm, Round Lake is actually up near George's hood. George is from British Columbia. It's a large hood, <laughs> but uh, there's a native treatment there, uh, center there called Round Lake, and um, it's a very special place and a very special place for um, 
some special people that I know who've gone there and um, began their recovery. Uh, this was a song I wrote for someone who checked in to um, Round Lake Treatment Center. This was a song to get them through um, the very difficult um, and brave path of recovery. Thank you. What's that? No, I think it's good. I think it's good now. All right. Thanks for all you guys for coming out in the cold and finding us all the way over here, stage 49 in the back. Yeah, you guys. Um, so all the people working here at stage 49, this was a big deal this year because it was in a different place, right? Yes? Yes, guys, right? So you're all working really hard, and, um, and it feels great to be up here. So uh, well done for all the people behind the scenes that you don't see who work really hard to put on a good show for you guys. Yeah! Uh, so more people are coming. That's good. The music is bringing them all. Let's sing a song in English off my new album. It's so not my new album. It's my latest album. But it's, it's, a, it's a few years old. I know, I'm working on the new one. But anyway, it's for sale over there. So this song is called Ignore. And it's about those moments where you just need to shut the world out. Has anyone had one of those moments recently? Yeah, I know. Here, here. So it doesn't mean that we need to be like that all the time. It just means that every once in a while we need a moment of quiet for ourselves where we just focus on our own breathing and existence and peace of mind. This is Ignore. Take a life a little hard And sometimes I brave 
too much Well I crave too much, I save too much, I behave too much So I'm gonna stop a little and I'm gonna breathe a little more I'm gonna set my eyes upon nothing and just there it's a good way to keep warm yeah yeah so we're gonna get a little deep for a second um, so one of my heroes one of my favorite songwriters one of my favorite activists is um, Miss Buffy St. Marie yeah oh one person knows Buffy St. Marie two <laughs> so um, so Buffy wrote a song over 30 years ago called um, Universal Soldier. Yeah, and uh, the song still resonates today. And um, this is one of my favorite songs about war and about humanity. And I know we have a lot of people over there right now, and so um, let this be um, a big prayer to keep everybody safe and, um, and find a way to live without war. This is Universal Soldier. He's been a soldier for a thousand years. He's a Catholic, a Hindu, an atheist, a Jain, a Buddhist, and a Baptist, and a Jew. And he knows he shouldn't kill, but he knows he always will kill you for me, my friend, and me for you. And he 
He's fighting for Canada. He's fighting for France. He's fighting for the USA. And he's fighting for the Russians. He's fighting for Japan. And he thinks we'll put an end to all this way. And he's fighting for democracy. He's fighting for the Reds. He says it's for the peace of all. He's the one who must decide who's to live and who's to die. But he never sees the writing on the wall. But without him, how would Hitler have condemned him at Dachau? Without him, Caesar would have stood alone. He's the one who gives his body as a weapon to the war. And without him, all this killing can go on. He's the universal soldier. He is the one to blame. And his orders come from far away no more. They come from him and you and me. And brothers, can't you see?